did my little like morning routine made my bed made breakfast coffee i just didn't walk the dogs which is really bad i have to go walk them after this so i will do that right away but i needed to wash my hair because my hair was not it wasn't giving it was in a bun as you guys saw and it was just that time it was time to wash my hair and this is where we're at i use the wella products the shampoo and conditioner that i got from the hair salon a lot of you guys were saying in the previous video that i posted about the wella products that they are available in ulta which is nice because that means that now i can just stock up myself and not have to like go back to the salon to restock anytime so that's good and i always love using it because my hair feels insanely soft every single time which is always a good thing so it is time for me to deep condition my hair and i have picked out two deep conditioners this one is the curl smith hydro cream soothing mask and this is what it looks like and then we have the Mish strengthen protein slash moisture balance deep conditioner and honestly i'm not sure which one i want to do today i'm kind of thinking curl smith just because it's almost empty and i haven't used curl smith in a while and it smells really good and then I also have the Mish one. What do I feel like I need? I want like some defined curls. Let's go with hydrating because the weather is getting cold. It's getting colder now. So it will be perfect for my hair to be like extra soft. I'm going to watch Love is Blind. A new episode came out. They're at the altar now. So everyone's like making their decision. And I'm like shooketh. If you guys are watching Love is Blind season three, comment down below and let me know because I am just shocked with these like decisions. I'm just like, what is going on here? Like what's going on? So I'm going to continue watching that while I apply this deep conditioner in my hair i still feel like super sleepy even though i've been up for hours at this point but we're gonna pull through conditioner is officially in i made like a little low bun because like i mentioned i have to walk the dogs i'm probably gonna throw a hat on just to because it looks kind of funny i don't know what do you guys think but this is really thick and creamy i haven't used this deep conditioner in so long i forgot how good it like feels in my hair and when i come back i'm probably even gonna sit under my hooded dryer just to, to let it work in a little bit more wait before i leave i wanted to show you guys my nails because i feel like every time i do them i gotta show you guys but look how pretty they look ah! i've been in like a little green air as you can see i didn't even show you guys my christmas decor theme is green this year green and white i began to decorate the shelf is not done i gotta move that around and i'm also still missing some pillows back here but it's coming along i'll show you guys more on that when i get back from walking them Thank you. 
Before I start filming, I have to clean this up. It's looking a hot mess. I was decorating yesterday for Christmas and all of the extra decor that I had on this shelf over here ended up on my desk. I have some packages on the floor. So I'm gonna tidy this up really quick and then we can get into filming. I have a meeting at four. It's already two o'clock. I feel like the day is just flying by, but let me just clean this mess. So I just finished getting ready and I literally have three minutes for my meeting. I have a meeting with YouTube, which is really, really exciting. So I need to go to the office, set up my station because right now I actually have the standing desk up. Stressful. Okay guys, I'm ready for my meeting and I'll catch back with you guys later on. guys just finished my meeting I mean I got ready low-key for no reason because it wasn't one of those meetings where you had to turn your camera on so I'm like dang I got ready for no reason but at least I feel good and I got to do makeup which I haven't done in a few days it feels like since Sunday today's now Wednesday so I'm feeling good it is 4 50 right now you guys I feel like the day is running away from me I made a to-do list and I'm literally on track of my to-do list I'll show it to you guys very long to-do list but we're we're literally almost there all I have left to do is edit a vlog and post it which I definitely will do tonight and then I have to film a hair video here I was going to film a hair video but I think I'll just leave my hair in deep conditioner and then tomorrow morning I'll rinse it out I can film in the morning time because now that the sun is setting so early it's 4 50 and as you can see it's already dark outside I feel like I might not be like my most energetic self and I kind of want to film it for YouTube as well especially since I've been doing a lot of TikToks I feel like I've low-key been neglecting my YouTube platform let me log in right now to see when was the last time I mean I have been uploading shorts which is a new thing that YouTube is doing it's just kind of like trying to be like TikTok and that's actually what the meeting was about YouTube shorts but I haven't posted a vlog in 12 days and I have a vlog that I can post I actually have a few I just been trying to create shorts and reels and TikToks, and so like because those are much faster to do you have to be obviously more consistent and YouTube videos and vlogs which I love they just take a lot more time to edit and I've talked about that before on this channel that I love vlogging I love that it's just the editing portion takes so long and so sometimes instead of spending five hours editing one video I can spend five hours editing a bunch of other videos and like doing a bunch of like different things but but I am trying to put myself on a schedule I am trying to be more intentional because I love the vlogs I know you guys love the vlogs every time I talk about the vlogs you guys are like don't stop posting vlogs and trust me I don't want to stop um, I'm just trying to get a hold of my time and like just be more intentional work out 
out, eat healthy, cook at home, all those things. And and also like be consistent because I feel like, like I have my waves of when I'm consistent and I just want to be consistent all the time, but it's hard. I need to make dinner and walk the dogs again because my husband is working a double, so he's out all day today. I need to tidy up the house, which I've actually done a really good job. This room just essentially needs a little desk cleanup. It needs a desk cleanup and it also needs my rug. As you can see, there's no rug here because I am washing it. So I just have to put the rug back. And of course, me being the like DIYer type of person, I'm like every day I need to do like a home project. It just makes me happy. It just makes me feel good. And so today was an impromptu one because it actually wasn't even on my to-do list, but the string lights in my filming room went off. I don't know what happened. I just, I was trying to turn them on they weren't turning on I changed the extension cord the outlet like everything so I'm assuming it might have just burned out I've had had them for a long time and instead of buying them again I'm just going to put wallpaper to kind of switch it up because I have had the same look for some time now so I'm okay with saying goodbye to the string lights in the filming room and doing wallpaper I'm okay with that okay guys so my string lights gave out these are the ones that I was talking about they don't turn on now I'm so sad but I guess it was just time for change so I'm happy that I have this wallpaper I originally was going to use it upstairs but it's perfect timing I have two rolls I think it's gonna be enough so it's gonna be my little DIY project to put this wallpaper in the back I do want to empty out the shelves a little bit more make it very dainty and minimalistic we will see what I can come up with but I'm only giving myself max two hours for this it's five o'clock by seven I can start on dinner and then from eight to like nine ish I can edit my video so that is that Mia wants to play here Bubbush. get it <laughs> I'm gonna move everything and then I'll see how much I could record because I am doing this by myself and I don't want to we'll, we'll figure this out I'll be back okay guys update the wallpaper is up it's actually been exactly almost three hours because your girl easily gets distracted it is 7 44 and i was playing around with the wallpaper because in person this second roll that i use seems darker than this one maybe you can see it's like a shade comparison like this one's like two shades lighter than this one and also i ran out of wallpaper so i didn't have any more i would have to order another one i am not sure if i love it it, but I did order another one just to put it up and then I can probably leave it like that for some time but for some reason this space was it was looking too cluttered for me and I wasn't able to figure out what it was I'm also like I'm not sure about the the green throw it might be a little too much I don't know but I was figuring out what's going on why is everything is so cluttered here I don't understand it doesn't feel airy what's going on you guys I don't know if you can tell, but I got rid of the three shelves that were there. Here they are. And now I just have to wait for my dad to come over whenever he does. And he can help me patch these holes up. But I love it so much more. I also kind of played around with this shelf a little bit. Because earlier I wasn't liking how it was looking. And I just want it to be cozy, airy, and fun. I also got different throw pillows for the couch that are Christmas. This was my fall pillow. But but I think it looks so much better now. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Was the shelves too much does it look better without the shelves does it look empty i personally really really like it i think it looks amazing <laughs> if i do say so myself and i'm still kind of working on minimalizing this i want it to be very minimal airy that's kind of like the vision the vibe that i'm going for but let me step back a little bit more so you can get a full picture i love it i think it looks great again fresh paint patch up holes and then finish up this wall so that it's not not too just white I think it looks good I was also even thinking of instead of wallpaper do an accent wall but I don't know if I want to commit to that I feel like that's a bit too much and also because it is a filming room I like to keep it light and bright in here so an accent wall might kind of throw off color grading and stuff like that which is huge so we might keep it with this it is like a grayish color whitish with panels I like it I do like how it looks it's different it's just that the two shades are different and I'm so annoying and like picky when it comes to like coloring and stuff but we'll put the last one there we'll see how it goes this table is gonna have to come out 
yeah this tape was definitely gonna have to come out there we go I am left with all of these decor items which you know now that I've done storage upstairs I'm able to kind of just organize this so I think we're gonna do that maybe tomorrow morning I really don't know because I want to film tomorrow but I am gonna go start making some dinner I'm probably just gonna keep it simple chicken potatoes and a salad it's probably gonna be my dinner it's almost eight o'clock and I have to edit my vlog so I can't escape that so I am going to take a break with the house stuff and make dinner really quick or kind of just like heat it up because I already have chicken I just have to make and heat up the potatoes Hi guys, I just realized I never ended this video. I ended up wrapping up my night. I did my little DIY project yesterday and then um, my husband came home. We were watching a movie and baked some cookies and that was literally our night. So I wanted to keep it just a day in the life because I feel like once I start to stretch out the vlogs, then it just kind of sits there and I don't edit it right away. So I wanted to jump on it right away. It is the next day and I wanted to show you guys my results as well. Leaving that deep conditioner in my hair literally made a huge difference my hair feels insanely soft super defined as you can see and I'm literally loving it I'm going to link it down below I am definitely going to be using it way more often this fall and winter just to keep my curls nice and moisturized but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye